Robert Enrique uh, from Charlotte asks a good question. Websites lose backlinks due to other websites going out of business or closing. For example, GeoCities or AOL member pages. Does Google remove the backlink juice that once came from these pages? The short answer is yes. I mean, if you think about it, if there's no GeoCities page live on the web anymore, uh, then the odds of a person coming from a GeoCities page is zero. And PageRank, in some sense, is a model of how a random surfer would go around on the web following links. So if a page disappears, you don't want to just keep flowing PageRank from that page forever. There might open up some spam loopholes as a possibility. But also, you don't want to just have these links be stale and say, well, this guy got one link from GeoCities in 1998, so he keeps getting PageRank forever. Typically what we do is we crawl the web, we extract the web graph, we run PageRank over that, and then if websites come in or drop out, then that might have ch changed PageRank a little bit temporarily, but in general it usually uh, stabilizes at a pretty stable state. And that steady state holds true whether you know a few web pages disappear or a few new web pages come in for the most part. Um, whenever you have something big like GeoCities disappear, then that might affect a few sites quite a bit if that was their biggest page rank link. But in general, uh, even taking out a large fraction of the web, it turns out the other page ranks don't tend to change all that much. So um, in order to prevent st things from becoming stale, we tend to use the current link graph rather than a link graph of all of time. It's an interesting idea. We could explore it more down the road, but the short answer is I wouldn't count on a link from GeoCities counting for page rank that much in the future.